P to the O to the T L U C K potluck with Pricey. Good morning, Bill High School. Hope everybody is doing well. Um, you might notice that I'm wearing um, an old-fashioned um, nurse's uniform. Actually, this is this used to belong to my mum. I, I borrowed it for a fancy dress um, competition, uh, a fancy dress event, um, and I never gave it back. I'm a bit of a thief. Um, and you'll hear in the background a song called Thank You by Gregory Porter, that's it, by Gregory Porter. Um, because this is um, the end of National Nurses Week, so a lot of people have been saying thank you. Hope you did your um, clap for uh, applause for the NHS yesterday, which is just not about, obviously not about nurses, um, but about the doctors and anybody who works in the NHS. And really, I think anybody who works in the... Um, in the emergency services just to say thank you for all the hard work that they're doing at this difficult time and a bit of trivia for you um, this week they opened up a new it's a temporary hospital a community hospital for um, those who are recovering from covid and it's named after mary seacole some of you might have um, might recognize her name she was a businesswoman and a nurse um, during the 1800s who offered her services to the Crimean War. So she was nursing um, wounded soldiers. She actually went on to the sort of front line and was help helping soldiers there, nursing them back to care. So that hospital has been named after her because of all of her work um, during the Crimean War. So, um, yes, so this is a, a kind of nurses themed, kind of helping out themed um, potluck um, with Pricey session today. So let's uh, get straight into it, okay. First thing we're going to do, oh yes, we had um, our Name That Tune last week. Uh, we had a range of songs um, that I gave you, was it eight? I think I said seven and then it was eight, something like that. I can't remember. So, um, I wonder how many you got correct. Some of them you might have, um, uh, some, some of them you might have recognised and others of you you might not have. So let's see if we can get, get those answers correct. Um, so we're going to start off with a little anagram um, and I've got my little anagram here and as always I like to give you a little bit of time to work out what that anagram is. So our word today is, no it isn't gold, thank you, um, the word today is Spiocansum, Spiocansum. And I will be giving you 30 seconds to work out what word. Remember, you have to just rejumble the letters and work out what Spearcansom is. And it, remember, it's themed. So Spearcansom, let's give that our 30 seconds starting from now. Spearcansom, jumble up those letters. What's the word? Remember it links to the theme today. Nurses, helping others. Don't want to give you any more clues. Spear Canton. Okay, and the word is, let's see whether you got it correct. Compassion, yes, the word is compassion. Um, obviously, nurses have to have a lot of compassion for their patients, in f towards the families. Um, so, um, yeah, compassion is a really strong uh, emotion to have, um, and it's a good emotion to, to or, uh, uh, yeah, it is an emotion to use to have that towards other people, especially at this time. I think a lot of us are feeling, you know, feeling compassionate towards each other, um, especially those if they're having a little bit of a difficult time. I've spoken to a couple of students over the last couple of weeks um, who just, you know, just felt a little bit down. Uh, even a friend, a friend of mine yesterday, I, I um, was speaking with her. She was having a bit of a difficult time and you just have to, you know, I was in a great mood. Um, and I just, you just have to have compassion. Just go, you know, not everybody is able to get through everything okay. We all have our moments. Um, so you just have to feel a little bit of compassion towards somebody else. Um, so uh, staying on that theme, let's move on to our... Um, 
what oh yeah how many words we haven't done that for a little while how many words can you make out of a word so our word this week is going to be the word generosity so how many words can you make from the word generosity like now as usual I'm going to give us two minutes yeah about two minutes to um, to work out how many words we can make um, and let's start that from now so two minutes generosity I'm gonna play along with you as well I'm going to number mine because I often do it and don't count how many I've got. So um, that's an easy one. And remember, they have to be three letters or more. Yeah, three letters or more. So I've got that one. That's something that you do when you're, when you're tired. Um, oh, I've done a lot of that this week with my paperwork and some clothes. Uh, let's have another look. Um, oh, I like this version. It's a little bit funky. Um, oh. Oh, that's something that a lot of you are either going to go into or you are already them. Uh, you like to sleep a lot. Yeah, these people, yes. Um, let's see. This one's a little bit more difficult, I think. Oh, lovely. I like the smell of these. That's nice. Um, oh, sometimes you wiggle. The I love babies ones. And they wiggle and they're cute. And you want to... I, I, I don't eat babies. I just like the these little parts of their bodies it's cute um uh, oh something that you need to do in the morning some of you are doing it in the afternoon um that's another one oops let's see um, oh my friend had this she went cycling the other day and it made um a certain part of her body a little bit um sensitive that let's just say that um what else let's see oh we've got about oh only about 15 seconds left see if i can make it over 10 otherwise that's really sad but there's pressure you know the pressure is on um oh that's another thing yeah work building that's, um one of these um okay all right time is up now how many words did you get i got actually um let's see how many did i get i can't we can't really properly see it i got 11 words 11 words not too bad um how many did you get if you got over 10 well done well done well done okay um last thing we're going to do i think um is just have a little poem I think we'll do a little po oh no i had a quiz i had a quiz i have a great quiz um and we'll do this really really simply i love this quiz actually it's just a few questions there's random questions about the human body See so let's start our quiz shall we question number one what percentage of the human body is water is it a 50 percent b 66 percent c 75 percent or d 80 percent which one I've got five seconds four three I said four seconds and then I meant five. Five, four, three, two, one. The answer is B, 66%. Question number two. A human's thumb is as long as his or her nose. True or false? Now, before you try it, think of whether it's true or false. Five seconds. Four, three, two, one. The answer is true. Now you can go and measure it, see whether your nose is as long as your thumb or your thumb is as long as your nose. Either or, it's still the same distance. Wonderful. Question number three. Um, a sneeze, uh, you know, it's good to get a sneeze out. But anyway, the, a sneeze is, occurs about 100 miles an hour. That's quite fast. Is that true or false? 100 miles an hour. Just think, achoo! Just think about it, whether all that stuff comes out at 100 miles an hour. Is it true or false? The answer is, and I'll give you five seconds, four, three, two, one. Yeah, the answer is true. 100 miles an hour. Can you imagine? Wow. Question number four. Um, the smallest bone in the human body is about the size of A, the head of a pin, B, a grain of rice, C, an eyelash, or D, a grain of sand? Got five seconds, four, three, two, one. The answer is B, a grain of sand. Can you imagine that? The smallest bone that you have in that body. Question number five. 
Now, where are the smallest bones in the body found? Is it A, your feet, think about your toes, B, your ears, C, your fingers, or D, your knees? Got five seconds, four, three, two, one. Okay, the answer is your ears. There's lots of small bones in there. Question number six, are we on? I think it's number six. Question number six, um, we humans, get an entirely new skeleton every 12 years. So it's not like going and getting a new jumper. You get a whole new skeleton, the bones of your body. You get a whole new skeleton every 12 years. Is that true or false? Got five seconds, four, three, two, one. The answer is true. We get a whole new skeleton as our um, cells regenerate. We get a whole new um, skeleton every 12 years. It's madness. Our bodies are amazing things. Question number seven or eight, I've lost count. Uh, question number, whatever that question is, um, along with the smallest bones, the smallest muscles in the human bodies, in the human body, sorry, is found in the ears. True or false? Got five seconds. Four, three, two, one. The answer is true. That really small bone, I can't remember the name of it, has a small muscle that keeps it in the, the place where it's supposed to be and keeps it working so we have our balance and we can hear it well. Question number eight. No, next question. Um, oh, what question is this? Oh, uh, not, not that one. Okay. Uh, no, not that one either. Wait a second. Oh, yeah. In a single day, this is a good one. In a single day, one of your feet can sweat the equivalent of half a glass of water. Is that true or false? Just think about it, you've got five seconds, four, three, two, one. Can your sweet feet sweat that much? Ew. It's true, yes it is true. So some of you that have got stinky feet, now you know the reason why, because you're sweating so much. And last question, um, what is the largest organ of the human body? Is it A, the brain, B, the liver, C, the spine, or D, the skin? Got five seconds, four, three, two, one. The answer is the skin, the skin is an organ. So well done to those people who got those answers right. Um, just a little quiz there, seeing that we were talking about uh, compassion, nurses, generosity those people that are helping us out in the medical areas and um, just sort of do a little quiz on that um so let's finish off with a very very quick poem i think we'll do a quick poem um by somebody called uh francis blake i believe his name is um oh, sorry blake flannery that's it blake flannery um for my english classes uh my year seven english class we did poetry we, just before we um sort of locked down we were doing we we're finishing off poetry well, we've done it i can't remember it seems like such a long time ago um it's a six word poem real heroes wear scrubs not capes that's the poem and for all those people out there it's not about showing off and looking like the biggest and the bravest and the boldest it's about doing those things that are compassionate so some of you your family members might be going back to work this week or they might be going back next week maybe they've already gone back to work maybe they've been working all this time show a bit of compassion go and make them a cup of tea rub their sweaty feet do something to um to show that you understand how hard they're working and you're grateful for everything that they do and as always as i say keep kind be good and be safe take care